Well, as you can see, I have a uh, 14 by 5 foot trailer. The boards have rotten. Um, going to attempt to go ahead and replace them. Uh, the only downfall is that they have the um, star bit pieces in them that have mounted the boards down to the steel angle iron. And I have a trailer dog hitch assembly that I'm going to have to undo and then I'll remount and apply my trailer dog back to which allows for me to hitch my ATV on. Uh, a lot of work to be done but I think we can get it done and during this process I'll attempt to jack up the 14 foot decking and weight it down to pop it inside the lips. Both ends do have the lips on them, so I'm not going to do it with a, uh, a cut weld. We'll see how it goes. Well, as you can see, it's been a little bit of a chore. Uh, had to use quite a few cutting tools, some skill saws, uh, saws all. Almost done though. Uh, it's going to be good and clean when I get done. Removed all the old rotten decking. I went ahead and started a new a new wiring for the light system for my running lights and brake lights. I'll do that first before I start putting in the new decking. Well, as you can see, uh, I got my first two 14 foot decking boards in. Uh, everything's cleaned out. Uh, something might help you when you're sliding them in, uh, when you're doing them in, putting them in diagonally. What I did is I sprayed just a little bit of WD-40 up inside the lip of each end. Uh, it kind of helps uh, get those boards to slide a little easier. Uh, it might be something you want to you try to do. Well, as you can see, i uh, got the first four decking boards in. Um, it's only a five foot wide trailer, so... I'm not going to have any luck getting this other board in. So that means for my last four boards, I'll be using a jack. Well, as you can see, I uh, just took a regular vehicle jack. Of course, I have it. The steel beams are cross teed, so it makes it a little safer to work with. However, some trailers will not have that. I uh, put the jack about a third way from the end. And slid that into the lip lifted the jack up enough to where I was able to go down here and just bend it stand on it lightly so I don't break the board um, the wetter boards do work a little bit better uh, pushed it down the lip a little bit and I'm fixing to lower the jack and pull it out as you can see I uh, got the jack underneath the, the decking board. Uh, you can use a lot of different tools. I decided to use a water valve shutoff tool. Uh, keep my distance from the board when it does pop in. Got the jack in here, so I'm gonna end up knocking this out or wedging it out. So I just got here, and I'm just gonna go like this. Uh, as you see, all the boards are in, and the decking is done. Just took a little bit of, a lot less time than cutting it. It with well. Appreciate you watching.